Welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we're talking about the Greater Sage Grouse. So this is the Greater Sage Grouse. Um, this one in particular is a female. Um, grouse in general are a pretty common species of game bird, commonly um, cultivated in like a animal agriculture as well as hunted for sport and food. The greater sage grouse in particular is just one species of grouse. There are multiple species, but this is the one we're talking about today, the endangered one. Actually, there might be more endangered ones, but this is the specific endangered ones we're talking about. Grouse are known for not being particularly intelligent, and as well as for their absolutely banger um, mating dances. They are absolutely fantastic, 10 out of 10, as well as having some very interesting features. Them grouse got titties. <laughs> Sage grouse used to be found uh, like very widely um, around the Canadian and American prairies, grasslands, and sagebrush, but as of right now, they are locally extinct in British Columbia, the province where I live in, and it can be found very, very sparsely among um, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta. Even though they, there's a very, very small population there, most of the population is in the United States, in states like um, Nevada, California, etc. Most of the main threats to the sage grouse, they include hunting, even though they're protected now, so hunting isn't as big of an issue, but they're still poaching. But the main thing is habitat loss due to oil mining and rigs and like pipelines and all that, as well as industrialization, agriculture, and general just big habitat loss. Almost all of the original range of the sage grouse has been reduced to being inhabitable to them due to a bunch of things being stuff being built there, farms, um, stuff being dug up for oil, and being turned into cities and towns and the like, so they can no longer live there. Grouse and a bunch of other prey birds are very important to the ecosystem, both for providing food for predators and keeping the population of, like, I think they eat bugs and stuff, keeping the population of that down, so pest control. At least in Canada, it is not looking great for them. Like, as I said before, they're already st extinct in BC, and there's, like, less than 200 across the other three provinces that they normally live in. However, most of the population is in the states, that's where like 95% of the population is, so it is looking a little bit better for them in the United States. Unfortunately, they may very well be going extinct in Canada soon, which is unfortunate. As always, there are conservation efforts going on, which I will link to in the comments.